Hello, you all. I hope you had a good day today. By the time I upload this, it'll be the next day, though. I hope y'all had a good day today. Y'all know what I mean. So y'all already know what we about to get into tonight. We're going to get into these messages and see what our Elohim would like us to know at this time. See what our Elohim would like us to know at this time. What would our Elohim like us to know at this time? Okay. We have the Two of Swords with the Nine of Pentacles. Somebody could be upset because something could have, um, somebody could have had a tower here with their finances. Somebody could be upset because something got blocked out as far as money. Somebody could be worried about their well-being at this time. Somebody finances just got blocked. Somebody was also hoping for somebody finances to be blocked or to get blocked too though. Somebody was thoughtless and careless trying to control somebody else's finances. Maybe somebody just tried to block somebody money. Somebody did an impulsive act to try to block somebody's finances and their money. Very foolish, thoughtless, careless. Uh, they wanted to block it off. But it's, it's showing that in turn, their finances might end up getting blocked off though. With them trying to block off somebody's finances, them trying to control something, there was a tower here. The divine brought in the tower. It could have even been a group of people who was trying to block out somebody's money. Also, the answer is no for them to even be able to do this in the first place. Like, somebody's financial situation is going to heal. Like, it's going to heal so good that you going to be like I don't want to say the money going to grow off a tree but like you going to be able to go into your garden and pick some stuff out now um some of you may even be reti be able to retire since somebody tried to do this to you like Whatever somebody tried to do to you is going to heal. I'm telling you, somebody going to be just frolicking around. You're going to be able to be a fool, like, and that's the tower. You're going to be able to be a fool because the divine is going to bring... And I ain't saying be a fool, like going and wild out somewhere. I'm talking like frolic, frolicking around, not really having, um, you're going to always have a care, but whatever burdens that you have been carrying or whatever burden 
you may have is going to be made lighter and the divine is going to assist in that. Somebody was trying to make things chaotic for you. Five of Wands. Somebody was trying to make things chaotic for you. It was all a part of a plan. To stop your money. But it's about to blow up in somebody. It could even have been a couple that was doing this to you. It's all about to blow up in their face because they about to fall under judgment. And something unexpected is going to happen to them. Yeah, it's a change of plans. Because you are loved. Something is going to transform. Yeah, rescue is coming. That's the tower. You're going to be rescued by the divine here. Somebody tried to have you isolated here. You know, left out in the cold and stuck. Because you could have been the nine of pentacles and then they tried to drop you down to the five. Like things were looking promising for you at a point in time and then it just was like not anymore. But you have rescue coming here. Um, yeah, something is about to transform. Yo, your fortune is going to hit a metamorphosis. But whoever, depending on whoever did this, it's either Let me make sure this is what I'm thinking here. Depending on who is doing this, trying to strip you, they possibly could have wanted, they could have not only wanted your finances to die, but they could have wanted death just all around you, period. But the thing is, they're going to pass, whoever this couple is. Could be a water sign couple. Either their finances or them or they are going to pass for the plans they had because they celebrated whatever this was that they was doing to you, causing all of these illusions and shit. They celebrated it, okay? They was like, yeah. And then what's, what make it sad is when they was causing all of these illusions, they was trying to act like everything was fine up in your face, though, while they were stabbing you in the back. That's why they about to get karma. If this ain't a water sign couple... Somebody, somebody is Scorpio. I'm going to say that one of these people is a Scorpio because Scorpio is out here. One, two, three, four, five, six times. One of these people is a Scorpio.
Somebody also could be a Virgo, Sag, Aries, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius. Double confirmation of a Taurus. Somebody gonna be at a dead end for real. The masculine is a Virgo or a Taurus, or they got that highly aspected in their chart. Or Aries. It could be up to three people. But the signs that I name is highly aspected in their chart. See, you was too badass, but these, whoever these people was, they was trying to call in the ultimate betrayal for you to balance themselves out. And now they could be burden, facing burdens. It could even be two men, y'all. It, it. These is men. I'm thinking it's a man and a woman. These... It's a couple of men that betrayed a woman. That wanted to cause death in her life. Her fortune, all of that. These is men. That did this to a woman. Some of these men were together, though. Some of these men dealt with each other. In some way. This is definitely the ultimate betrayal. Whatever it is, is bad. But somebody definitely gonna meet a dead end, though. Yeah, because they're trying to have somebody's stability at a dead end. Just know everything is, everything is fine with your foundation. Everything gonna be fine with your foundation. This feminine. But these men, these men that plotted against you, they ass is gonna get karma. They ass is gonna get karma. Cause this was the ultimate betrayal. Somebody was gifting somebody here. Somebody gifted somebody to betray somebody here to cause this instability. I'm telling you, these this two of pentacles. Somebody could have Pisces in their chart, too. 
between you and these masculines. It could be three men and a woman. And them sign, all of the signs that I named, they got them signs in their chart. Three men plotted against a woman and celebrated whatever. Celebrated trying to cause these illusions and stuff here. <coughs> yeah. Sorry, y'all keep pausing because it's like, yeah, they did this out of jealousy. Three men ganged up on a woman out of jealousy. Five of Swords. See, this is where shit be getting like just so messy, y'all, because I'm telling you, one of these men was dealing with this woman's soulmate. But this soulmate may be karmic. One of these men was either having relations with this woman's soulmate or they wanted to. And they were jealous that this man was this woman's soulmate because they want him. So... What they did was they wanted an opportunity with this man. So, hell nah, they backstabbed it. And, and <laughs> oh, this messy. And it's somebody that you celebrated with. It's somebody that you celebrated with that stabbed you in the back. Wanted you to not have shit. Wanted you dead. All because of who your soulmate was. And they didn't want they didn't want you to have an opportunity to be loved and get given to. The dog barking. They didn't want you to have an opportunity to actually be loved and give given to. This was jealousy. So a bunch of men jealous of a woman. Either this man was messing around with one of these men or one of these men wanted to mess around with this man and their jealousy and their hate led them to do some questionable shit. Yeah, they tried to entrap you. Eight of Swords. They wanted you to be outcasted. Like, you go away. Whoever this was that was jealous of you too and it was hating on you, they superficial as hell. Like, and then this person felt like that they was better than you somehow. This man, maybe for superficial reasons. But if you got to do all of that by hating on a woman because of who this, who, uh, because of who a woman can possibly be connected to, and you don't want this woman to have love or have an opportunity because it's somebody that you want to fuck with or that you fucking with. And you think you better than somebody because you cause you got material things? You's a fucking loser. And you hating on a bitch. You hating on a woman. You trying to take a woman down. Fucking loser. And this is the truth of whatever I'm saying. That's why they wanted to cause this instability and heartbreak to your life here. This person wanted to be juggled in a situation with you. In a man. In another man. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Ooh, look, listen, when you find this out, this gonna hurt. Because you gonna be like, what? Because it's somebody that you, like, celebrated with. Like, you thought y'all was cool, for real. But they wasn't cool with you. They, like... They was on some, like, some hate and shit, like, either my man like you or I, my one of who I want to be my man like you, so I ain't fucking with it, and I'm going to destroy you. Hell no. 
when they got knowledge, when they got knowledge, when they got the knowledge that this person could possibly love you or want to deal with you or that y'all could possibly even have anything going on, it upset this person. I mean, they got real upset. Set. So they got in a King of Swords energy. They started taking risks. Knight of Wands. Whoever this man is, a hoe. I mean, I mean, if they did love you at one point in time, that shit left a body. That if they did love you at a point in time, that shit left a body. And especially if you had sex with this person, that shit left a body like. So they wanted to cut you down. I'm telling you, like, they was stalking you, talking shit about you, petty gossiping about you. They wanted you to be blocked off. They wanted this person to not give you no type of play, no type of energy, none of that shit. This person was upset, honey. I'm telling you, four cups. So this person was passionate about the action that they took here. They was coming up with all types of ideas to try to do work on you, to have you at a loss, to have you going through ongoing battles, to end shit for you. Look, in your money, Ten of Pentacles, in your money. They felt like that, that, that was their justice here. <laughs> This some freaky shit. <laughs> this some freaky shit. Because they even partnered up with somebody to go against you. They wanted to make you sick, wanted you to be in the hospital. I'm telling you, they was doing so much magician work on you. When they found out. Listen, and they was completely happy too. They feel like. When they got whatever justice this is on you to hurt you. I mean, when I say they was happy to team up against you, man. They wanted you stripped of nothing. But whatever this is, you the one who got the justice because you healed from it. You were guided. You healed from whatever this was, but these people wanted to strip you naked. And they and they teamed up together to do this shit. I mean, they was completely happy with the results. Whatever they did to you, however they partnered up, planned and, and went against you. Because you were supposed to be here, like in the Four of Swords, after this magician work here. Oh, they was happy. But they didn't know who the fuck you was, is, is what it's given. Because you the Empress High Priestess. You a badass being full of life, love, and possibilities. You were a chosen one, too. Called by the Supreme Ruler here. You actually had a spiritual rebirth. You got in a whole nother energy. You balanced out. You stepped into your masculine energy. And that could be causing some type of stress and burdens because the decisions that was made in the 
the backstabbing and the underhandedness, you awaken to it. Ace of Cups. You awaken to who who backstabbed you here. See, whatever these people was doing to you, it actually made you even more fucking confident. Like, you a beast. It made you more confident. Like, <laughs> these people thought they was being sneaky doing this shit to you, too. They were trying to sneak away and run off with your blessings. Your energy, your spark. Why trying to block you off from everything. That's why the two of swords came out in the beginning of the read. Trying to block you off from everything. But it's just like. Yeah, the car just started. Up. It ain't do nothing. It ain't do nothing but transform your ass into the empress, high priestess, emperor. Hell no. Nah. That song just uh, ran across. Yeah, you you became equipped here. Chariot, the lovers, the emperor, the empress, the high priestess with the magician though, and the magician. It just made you stronger. With each attack from the devil. This was demonic. Look. They was attacking you so strongly. Like. It was strong whatever they was doing. The strength. To the seven of wands. With the devil. With the hermit. They was trying to oppress the fuck out of you. Yeah they wanted you in the nine of swords. So they kept making offers and they kept giving gifts to put you in this here. Look, Six of Pentacles. Oh, this some hateful shit. This some hateful, jealous shit. But shit. <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. This is this this definitely is fucked up. But the beauty of it all, like when they wanted you to pass, when they wanted you to die with this death card, and they wanted things in your life to die, it did. <laughs> it did transition. But even though you died, you was just born again. You was just reborn. I'm telling you, you had a spiritual rebirth and you went into a whole nother energy. Like you didn't just die. You didn't just lay over in your circumstances because of what people was doing to you and stabbing you in your back. And what they was doing was strong. With that, with that three of wands, I don't, they were seeking, they seek somebody that was, they can get that shit done. Whoever they were seeking out, they didn't get that shit done. Because it did occur with you, but it didn't occur in a way that they thought that shit would occur with you. All you did And then this you too though. They was the Knight of Swords with the Four of Swords with the Magician too, but that shit you too though. Cause look, you took action. You got rest and you manifested. You powerful as fuck. You manifested while motherfuckers was trying to kill you. And kill everything in your life. You are conscious. 
but you powerful as hell. You have powers. You could even possibly even have psychic powers. You are a powerful manifester. When I seen this, like this spread go, I was like, when I said, they ain't know who the fuck you was. I'm wondering, did you know? Because the way this shit look here, you conscious, you whole, you got the Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, and the Ace of Swords. You're whole. You're a powerful ass magician. Then you hit the spiritual rebirth, got into a whole new energy, and you turned out to be the Empress with the High Priestess and the Emperor. And then the, the Affirmations card came out. You are a badass being for the life, love, and possibility. So whole time, and then the chariot here, and the chariot represents, and you just, and you the lover's energy. The chariot represents the lovers, the empress, the emperor, the magician, and the high priestess. And you're showing up as all of that shit that's on this card. And you technically showed up as the lover's energy because I said that you were somebody's soulmate and somebody was mad that you had, you, you, you either had relations with somebody or somebody wanted to have relations with you. But this person, this other man was either, ha either having relations with this man or wanted to. And it sent him... It made him jealous. It, it made him jealous and it, it made him jealous to the point where he didn't want, he didn't want you to be given to by this person or loved by this person. So his jealousy like got the best of them for real. And there was other people that joined in to help this person do whatever they was doing to you. Like there was two other men, so it made three of them. But then the queen of pentacles came out here. It's either this man got on his bitch ass warlock shit or he hires a witch to fuck you up but it's like if I was you I'd be like thank you for trying to fuck me up <laughs> it ain't funny this shit fucked up but it's like it is funny at the same time cause imagine somebody trying to do you in right and all you do is just get better and better You broke the mold. You the divine feminine. But you even have a balance. Like you like the divine feminine and the divine masculine at the same damn time. Damn. Yeah, you a whole light being. You a whole light being. That somebody tried to fuck up like that. <laughs> That's crazy. You the divine feminine and the divine masculine. They woke up that man in you. Is what they did when they did that. 
they woke up that man and you look splitting the deck transformation they woke up that man and you and people could be stressed out about who who you is because you would like being your divine and they didn't know that these devils didn't know that but they was they was putting it on you though it was strong. Strength to the seven of wands to the devil. They was trying to oppress you. They had their foot on your neck spiritually. They wanted you in the nine of swords and the ten of wands. Four swords too. Like barely not being able to even move. I mean that's what she was supposed to be anyway. But you transformed. You went from the Queen of Cups to the Empress, High Priestess, Emperor, Magician with the Chariot, with the Lovers, Higher Consciousness, and Healing. You 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 knew you you know your soul's name. You know who you are. Soul name. You know who you are. We have divine animals. You're connected. You connected to uh, all things. You connected to the animals too. Nothing has gone wrong. See. Yeah, balance. You that yin and yang. Nothing has gone wrong. These people thought that... Uh, this is crazy. These people thought this shit was going wrong with you. But no, look at these two dragons in the corner. All these dragons. You slayed them dragons here. Nothing has gone wrong. I love these cards. Because the light just be like. It be like the light beaming off of them. Everything was right on time. Them even doing whatever this is. Nothing has gone wrong. What I say? You a light beam. You ain't even of this world. inner voice you listen to that inner man you got into alignment here spiritually angelically soul mating you made it with your soul that's how you know your soul's name too you had a union with the divine here we have channeling here yeah, you definitely could channel messages. You could be a channeler. You got grounded. And they could have thought they was doing your ass in. And all you was doing. Like, imagine somebody thinking they doing your ass in. And all you doing is, like, leveling up. Remember when I said you was a beast? Divine animals, use a motherfucking beast. You something else. They woke that shit up. Anything else? soul song yeah you in tune you are so in tune and so in alignment with the divine you don't even know you don't even know 
soul song. That's tune. You is so in tune. Sacred Geometry. Vesica Pisces. The Divine Feminine. Female Fertility. Sacred. Birth of Life. Procreation and renewal of life. You a goddess. You have a connection between heaven and earth. You're like a sun, like a Yashin. You have a connection between heaven and earth. You're connected to your higher self, source, and you have sacred purpose. Horn hunt confirmation outside. Damn. And then look at this visualized card. I'm going to end it here. Listen to Wale Lotus Flower Bomb. But look at that man and that woman. You are both masculine and feminine. You are the emperor and the empress. You see that woman's body, but then you see that man in there. And then you see that man in there and it's light. Look at that shit. I mean, look at that, y'all. You is the divine feminine and the divine masculine. I ain't never seen no, uh, I ain't never seen no reading like this. Yeah, you was focused. You remain focused. You visualized here. Let's see, no, you focused on that man then. You focused on that inner man. Look, and then it looked like it, it's in your DNA. Look, I don't even know if you can see them DNA strands going up at the top, but it's in your DNA. You focused on that, that man within you. Which brought joy to you. Brought joy and love that coming together. That look like that. They look, that look like the star of David in the middle, and that represents the man and woman coming together and being one. And then look at that heart in the middle. That love, that light. Yeah. Manifestation expansion. You are in alignment like a mug. I'm telling you. Manifestation. Man representing Yah. I represent. I am. I will to be what I will to be. Festation. Celebration of him and his holy day. Celebrating the divine here. Look. Expansion. You expand it here. And your chakras is all in alignment. And it looked like DNA just flowing all down in his body. 
And this look like that woman. And then that's a star of David again. Look at this artwork, y'all. Whoever made this deck was on fire. But you on fire. You is on fire. All your chakras is aligned. Your DNA. Genesis. Y'all keep pausing because woo! <laughs> Some say the devil will let you know who you are. And the devil just, the devil trying to oppress you, the devil did just that. End up telling you who you is. I don't think I'm going to pull anything else. It really ain't nothing to... It really ain't nothing to pull. You can listen to Wale, Lotus Flower Bomb, Wale, Illis Bitch, J. Cole, Pride is the Devil. Tasha Combs, Leonard featuring Nicki Minaj, I'm Getting Ready. Yeah, to see something you ain't never seen, cause this is something, this something no. Karim Bailey Ray, Seasons Change. Listen to that. Janae Aiko, Born Tired. Coyla Ray featuring Lil Dirt, No More Parties. And listen, I bet because who you were celebrating with was trying to tear your head off. Spiritually. LaRouk's Bulletproof, Nasty C featuring Ari Lennox, Black and White. These songs could have an extra message in there for you. Cleo Soul, Rose in the Dark. Black featuring J. Cole, Pretty Little Fears. Drake now and forever. The dream spiritual. Sam Cook, a change is gonna come. Hill song, awesome God. Anything else? Nipsey Hustle, double up. Peasy Commonwealth and Tupac, California Love. I'm going to pull a Grateful Heart message, y'all. I'm going to pull some thank yous, too, because listen to Never Would Have Made It by Marvin Sapp.
let me tell you something, what I just seen too. You got the devil stressed out and worried. The devil stressed out and worried about you spiritually. You, you made the devil retreat. Thank you for your darkness, Yahweh. Thank you for being my father and mother, Yahweh. Thank you for everything, Yahweh. Thank you for correcting me, Yahweh. Thank you for saving me, Yahweh. Thank you for believing in me, Yahweh. Thank you for being a great husband, man, Yahweh. Thank you for your sacrifices through Yahshua, Yahweh. Thank you for my gifts, Yahweh. Thank you for seeing me when I couldn't see myself, Yahweh. Thank you for your beauty, Yahweh. Thank you for seeing me, double confirmation of that. Thank you for freedom. Thank you for healing me. Thank you for choosing me, Yahweh. Thank you for loving me in spite of me, Yahweh. Thank you for igniting that flame, that passion, Yahweh. Thank you for life and letting me be a part of your story, Yahweh. Thank you for never leaving me. Thank you for your comfort. And then thank you for never leaving my side. So yeah, the divine was with you. Listen, I had to pull these thank you cards. I'm like, uh-uh, I got to, we got to pull some thank you messages, y'all. Because when I say the devil was a little strong arming, strong arming. But that just goes to show, like I be keep telling y'all, that the divine created the devil. And there's no one above thee. Nothing. No one or nothing. The devil did his job, though. Look, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Those who look to him for help will be radiant with joy. Be strong and take take heart, all who hope in Yahshua. Yahweh will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Yahshua the Messiah. Yahweh will generously provide all you need. This is your almighty provider. Shout for joy, you heavens. Yahshua comforts his people. Commit to Yahweh whatever you do and your plans shall succeed. There is not one blade of grass. There is no color in this world that is not intended to make us rejoice. Shout with joy to Yahweh, all the earth. Worship Yahweh with gladness. Come before him singing with joy. Call upon me in the day of trouble and I will deliver you and you shall glorify me. Praise Yahweh from whom all blessings flow. This, this message definitely deserves a hallelujah. They all do. But this is beautiful, y'all. I hope you all got a message from this read that'll help you along your journey. Know that Yahweh loves you. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you all later. Peace.